Hello, Brian here from Desert Fabworks, and I get a lot of questions about the couple of these little stoves that I make, and I want to answer a few questions and show you uh, some of the different options of the way I built it. And uh, basically on this one, it's a folding design. So you can see this one here is in the folded position with the legs up. These legs can go out at 90 degrees, and then they can take and be a low profile uh, rocket stove or they can take and stand up like this, or you can even use it in this configuration here all the way on the ground. So it gives you some options, and with the legs folded up like this, it's really compact for storage, carry handle on the front. So um, these are, this is Gen 1, this is the Gen 2 model here, which the uh, currently the, the DXF CAD files are based off this one here. A couple of little minor changes, just make the uh, legs and the, uh, couple things work a little bit better but basically the same on this one here it's got the pull out piece down here so you can take and drop the the ashes uh, on the bottom when you're done um, it's got uh, you can also use it to let more air in the main where you're gonna put your fuel in here and then it's got a little slot here that allows the air to get under it um, carry handle on the side, these are designed where you can take and wrap up some baked potatoes or corn and set them on here. On the back side, you can take and put a coffee mug, a can of beans, something like that, warm that up while you're grilling up on the, on the main surface up here. This one here has a, a flip away design, so if you're going to use it for grilling, you can have this up here. If you want to get the, the grill piece out of the way, it still keeps the whole thing attached and then it works like a, a campfire in that configuration. On the, this one here, I did for a friend, and it's got the grill top is loose. The whole thing is basically mild steel 10 gauge. This is stainless steel 10 gauge for the grilling surface, but uh, otherwise it's all, all mild steel, uh, four inch square tube for the uh, main sections there. And uh, like I said, I've got the CAD files available, so if you want them, uh, send me an email, let me know. The, uh, a lot of people want to see it burn, so we'll just take and uh, light this guy up. Uh, on the paint, this one here was a, some leftover barbecue paint I had. This, this one here is the Ace Hardware barbecue paint. It's rated for 1,000 degrees. It has a glossier finish compared to the flat finish on here. And uh, I've been doing them all in, in this, this finish now, and they look pretty nice. So let's get to uh, burning. Okay, so for, for burning, uh, a lot of people with the rocket stove like the versatility of just some sticks. So I grabbed some uh, sticks that are laying in the yard, and uh, we'll uh, go for just some sticks. And then I've got some uh, broken up pieces of 2x4. Uh, So basically what I had in there, you saw just, just one match, no, uh, no fuel other than uh, a little bit of dryer lint in the, in the bottom to get it started, and then uh, threw these twigs in there, and it uh, looks like it's uh, going pretty decent at this point. When the uh, lid closes on here, it leaves a little bit of uh, air gap so that uh, it still can take and pull that air through and you can control kind of the amount of heat that you, you get through it. But uh, even just uh, one, one match, a little bit of uh, dryer lint, and this thing is, is uh, taken off really quick. And that's just on just some, some sticks out of the yard. There's down in the firebox area at the bottom. And so I don't uh, melt the camera, a quick look. But uh, that was just uh, one, like I said, one match and a little bit of dryer lint. One match and a little bit of dryer lint, and uh, that thing is, is going strong. 
So very efficient in uh, how it burns and very little fuel necessary to take and get it going and keep it going. But uh, that's it. You can see that uh, a lot of guys wanted to see it work, see it burn. So it works, it burns, very efficient, very easy. So if you guys have any other questions, you can always uh, send me a message. And like I said, the uh, I got the DXF files for the complete thing with some instructions and uh, a picture available. I'm charging uh, $5.50. So pretty cheap. Seen uh, some people selling stoves like this uh, upwards of $200 and uh, getting a lot of requests for them. So thanks. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye. Just one other thing to show you here that uh, controlling the air, you see how much uh, smoke we get when I've closed the uh, front damper lid and then uh, I take and open it up and uh, that thing turns into, like they said, a uh, rocket and uh, burns very efficient with almost no smoke uh, once you take and introduce all that, that oxygen to it. But uh, do it one more time, show you how much the airflow makes makes a difference a lot of smoke open that guy up turns into a rocket and uh, almost no smoke at all